Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be learning about wide format printing, and to help us today, we have Alan. So tell us a little bit about what we're going to be doing today, Alan. Sure. Today we're doing prints on the Chromalux 16x20 chamfer panel right here, and the aluminum panel in the same size. And uh, we've got our image ready, and uh, first, before we do anything, we have to set up our software. All right, here we have the Wasatch Soft Rip. It's a great rip that we carry here at Condi for wide format printing. I've got my image in the layout window ready to go. I'm going to first of all mirror it, as always. It has a white background, so I'm going to need to add crop marks at full length, making a full border around this image so that we can line it up with the substrate. And that's another cool feature about this. I'm going to check my profile and make sure that it's right. And now pull it away from the corner into a good spot on the roll paper and we're ready to set up the printer. So today we're going to be using Condi's Ditrans RJ900 wide format printer. And Alan, why don't you tell us the difference between this and a regular size printer? Sure. As you can see, it's a lot bigger than our desktop printers. Even though we're doing a 16 inch wide image today, it'll do up to a 42 inch image on 44 inch roll paper. We have Condi HR paper in it right now, which is the equivalent to SPP that you see everywhere else in the desktop world. This printer is great because in addition to being so wide, it prints fast. So if you want to do lots of small items, this is a great machine to do that with. And we enjoy the perks of this printer, especially because the ink cost, uh, when you buy it in liters and in higher quantities, goes way down per square inch and per square foot. So your cost per item goes down. And it's a great reason to go wide format. So today we're at Condi's Warehouse working with a big press. And Alan, I will go to you to show us how to work this press today. Sure, this is the George Knight Pneumatic Maxi Press. It's a 40 by 64 inches platen, so it's a great big press. It's air powered and it has pneumatic pressure that you can set rather than dial in you know, by guessing. Um, wide format sublimation isn't terribly different. Uh, sometimes it takes longer to get these big products hot because it takes so much longer for them to conduct heat. But other than that, all the principles are the same. And here with our Chromalux panel, we're going to start by uh, doing what you do with every other Chromalux panel which is peeling the lamination off. Any minute now. Next step right here is to align it. Very important to check your holes on the back of the product to make sure that it hangs right. Now I'm aligning the panel with the crop marks, getting it nice and even and on center. Okay, and once it's where it needs to be, fold this paper up, make it nice, fold over to the back. Oh, lodged. <laughs> tape it onto the back. Do the same on the other side. Okay. All right. Next I flip it over, imaging side up. And I take one piece fabric, pre-cut, lay it over the panel. The reason for this is to distribute the pressure all across the whole piece because to get a good image you have to crush it all, the, not crush it, squash it all the way flat and uh, this fabric helps you distribute it and get it even. Our final step is to put it into the press. We have the timer set for two minutes and five seconds at 400 degrees and the pressure is 85 PSI, which is very high. And we need that kind of pressure to get an image this thick flat. All right, now it's done and our platen's lowering. All right, once it's all the way down, pull it on out. Discard our fabric over here. And now it's time to take a look at the transfer. Nice. So 
So now we're gonna start on our Chromalux here. And Alan, is there anything different that I should know about before I press? Just a few things. Uh, the time is only 70 seconds, which is not much longer than the desktop metal that we do, uh, the 12 by 24s. And uh, we're using 45 PSI for the pressure, which is nowhere near as heavy as what we were doing with those, those panels. So other than that, it's pretty much like the desktop. Okay, well then I guess I'll start by peeling back my protective film. Once we remove our film, we can now align our image with our piece of Chromalux and put it inside our borders. And once I have it centered, I'll secure it down with a couple pieces of heat tape. Now we're ready to press. And that sound means we're done. So I'll wait for it to lower and I'll be able to pull it out. And since this is Chrome Lux, it's going to be extremely hot, so I'm going to leave this here just the way it is for a few minutes before I go ahead and remove it from my transfer. We've got two great looking products. You can see here with the uh, aluminum being a clear coat, it doesn't have the vibrancy that the white does, but this still looks great. That's a cool product. So we uh, got to do these great, uh, great items on these wide format printers. We saved some money on ink. We were able to do a, a big size we wouldn't otherwise be able to do, and it saved us some time. So those are some of the perks of wide format printing. All right, well, thank you for helping us today, Alan. For more information about the products offered by Condi, visit us at condi.com, and be sure to watch my videos on youtube.com. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.